The MiG-31 Foxhound is the heaviest combat jet in service anywhere in the world that was designed for air-to-air -air combat, and enhanced variants in the Russian Air Force today are considered its most dangerous air superiority aircraft. The heavy interceptors deploy massive Zaslan M phased array radars providing one of the highest levels of situational awareness in the world, as well as R-37 air-to-air missiles with an impressive 400 km range, hypersonic speed and massive 60 kg warhead. Over 100 of the airframes are currently in storage, with much of the fleet retired following the collapse of the Soviet Union, although some are thought to have been brought out of storage and modernized in the latter half of the 2020s. Iran reportedly showed an interest in the MiG-31 in the 1990s but was unable to acquire them due to Western pressure on Moscow. The interceptors would be the most expensive option for Tehran among second-hand aircraft and would be more expensive than many newly built designs such as the MiG-29M particularly when factoring in the cost of modernizing the airframes and the Foxhound's high operational costs. They would nevertheless provide a very high-end air superiority capability and have the potential to be used for anti-satellite warfare and ballistic missile delivery as seen in the Russian military itself. Several hundred Foxhounds are in reserve storage in Russia today, some of which may already integrate Zaslan M radars. The MiG-31 was among the first aircraft with a phased array radar and one of two aircraft in the world capable of independently firing long-range air-to-air missiles. As of 2013, the MiG-31 was the world's first operational fighter with a passive electronically scanned array radar, PISA, the Zaslan S-800. Its maximum range against fighter-sized targets is approximately 200 km (120 mi), and it can track up to 10 targets and simultaneously attack four of them with its Vimpel R-33 missiles. The radar is matched with an infrared search and track first, system and a retractable undernose fairing. The MiG-31 was equipped with RKRLDN and APD-518 digital secure datalinks. The RKRLDN datalink is for communication with ground control centers. The APD-518 datalink enables a flight of four MiG-31 to automatically exchange radar-generated data within 200 km, 12 to be directed to targets spotted by MiG-31, a maximum of four, long range, for each MiG-31 aircraft. The A-50E aircraft and MiG-31 can automatically exchange aerial and terrestrial radar target designation as well as air defense. The MiG-31 is equipped with ECM of radar and infrared ranges and is capable of performing combat tasks. The MiG-31 was designed to fulfill the following mission objectives. Intercept cruise missiles in their launch aircraft by reaching missile launch range in the shortest possible time after departing the loiter area. Detect and destroy low-flying cruise missiles, UAVs and helicopters. Long-range escort of strategic bombers. Provide strategic air defense in areas not covered by ground-based air defense systems. MiG-31 production ended in 1994. The first production batch of 519 MiG-31s including 349 baseline models was produced at the Sokol plant between 1976 and 1988. The second batch of 101 MiG-31 DZs was produced from 1989 to 1991. The final batch of 69 MiG-31B aircraft was produced between 1990 and 1994. From the final batch 50 were retained by the Kazakhstan Air Force after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Of the baseline models, 40 airframes were upgraded to MiG-31 BS standard. In 1990 Tehran placed an order from Moscow for, among other weapons, 24 MiG-31 interceptors. 
The twin-engine MiG-31 was the Soviet Union's successor to the Mach 3 MiG-25. MiG-31 significantly could have improved Iran's ability to patrol its airspace and threaten its neighbors. But the Soviet Union collapsed before it could fill Iran's order. In 1992, Tehran tried again, ordering from a cash-hungry Russia a fresh batch of MiG-29s, and well as two 22 bombers, MiG-27 fighter bombers and 24 MiG-31s. This time around the United States successfully applied pressure on Russia to cancel the sale. The United States reportedly even offered to buy the MiG-31s from Russia at a higher price than Iran could afford. Nine years later in 2001, Tehran tried one more to acquire MiG-31s and even paid for them in advance. Again, the United States leaned on Russia to cancel the contract.